Now that we've proved the parallel lines and transversals theorems, we're going to apply them algebraically. So in this problem we're asked to find x and y. And we know that one of the angles here is marked as 105 degrees. So what we would want to do is um, find a relationship between the angles and that 105 degrees. So if this angle is 105 degrees, I could write that its vertical angle is 105 degrees. We would also know alternate interior angles are congruent here, so this angle is 105 degrees, right? And 105 is alternate exterior with this 3x. And since the lines are parallel being cut by transversal, we know that that 3x angle is 105 degrees. So there's our first equation, 3x equals 105. So solving this, we should get x is 35. Now, to find y. If I want to find y, we already marked some of the angles that we know. 5y and this 105 degree angle that was originally given do not share a relationship directly. So we moving the angle measures here, we know we have vertical. So this 5y and this 105 are uh, consecutive interior angles. Or you could also look at this 5y and this 105 as being a linear pair. So either way, we know that those angles are supplementary. So we know that 5y plus 105 equals 180. So there's our second equation. Solving that, you should get y is 15. All right, next up, we have another problem here, finding x and y. So we want to make relationships between the angles. Here's our parallels, right? So if this line and this line are parallels. Notice I'm going down my transversal, hitting that other parallel line, okay? That makes my Z angle, remember I've talked about that? Alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are congruent when the lines are parallel. So there's our first equation, 3y plus 8 equals 32. And it's okay that we don't solve for x first. I mean, solve for whatever variable you see. So we should get y equals 8. All right, so we know that this is 32. We know that this is 32. And we also have another parallel line, right? We have another set of parallels. So this line here is parallel with this one here. Well, again, there's my transversal. They're sharing this transversal. So we have one of our z angles, but now going little sideways, right? So this angle is congruent to this one. So 4x equals 52. So then we know that x is 13. Notice here, they gave 96 degrees. I didn't even need that, right? So you don't need to use all of the information. Just whatever you see, find those angle measures.